everyone, it's Michelle Suit. Um, we're going to be going over the cards from July's Christmas in July stamp a stack for 2020. Um, we have four designs and there are four of each in your kits. Um, there were a couple of pieces that were, were um, either missing or I redid something on there. So in your kit, you should have a clear package like this. It has two extra snowflakes and some other circles in there. So I'm gonna get started here and show you what all I used. So you're gonna pull out your real red card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. You'll have two pieces of basic white, one for the front to use as a mat, and then one for the inside of your card. Okay. Then you have a piece of garden green that has been embossed, which is so cute with those little whimsical trees. You should have two four inch circles. So this is the one um, in your kit, you probably have the smaller um, designer series paper circles. They were a little bit too small and I, I just completely uh, flaked on which size I used until I started making trees. So I'm going to show you how to do the trees, but in your kit you'll get your circles and there should be one completed tree in each of your little kits for you to go by. Then you have a three quarter uh, inch strip for your sentiment and you'll have a little piece of designer series paper. This is from that poinsettia paper. It's beautiful, but it kind of has that um, mottled brownish tan look there. We're gonna cut this into little pieces to do the tree trunks. So you'll have one long piece that we're gonna cut up, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and assemble the card front. Now when you're assembling things that are embossed like this, you wanna use something strong to make sure that you're getting the best adhesive coverage on there so it doesn't come off of, or it doesn't come apart. So I'm gonna use some Stampin' Seal Plus, just adhere this to my white base there. And I'm gonna set this aside because we're going to put our ribbon on that. Now, each of the kits came with a, a, a clear envelope that had ribbons, stars, there's some twine and stuff in there and some little berries. This is for a couple of different cards, so don't, um, don't panic when you pull your other kits, okay? This is what uh, you'll pull out for ribbons and bows. And on the red ones, um, you'll need um, one long piece and then one red bow. All right, so actually, since we have this right here, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna put my adhesive on the back side on the left and right here towards the bottom but I wanna leave enough space down here to put my three quarter inch sentiment. So just kind of eyeball it, but keep in mind, your sentiment's gotta fit down there, okay? So I'm gonna just fold these around the back side like so. Like that. And then we can go ahead and adhere this to the card front. Now this ribbon that's in the kit for this one it actually is a two pack of ribbon, it looks like this. It's in the holiday catalog. It comes with real red and garden green. There's five yards of each. So I have been stocking up on that because it is really nice. It makes bows beautifully. So check that out. When you're uh, looking in the back of the holiday catalog, you'll see it back there with the embellishments and ribbon section. All right. So there's our wrap. So I wanted to make sure to get that on that white mat before we glued it onto the card base. All right, do a little sentiment here. I'm gonna use the Seasons Greetings and the stamps I'm using are from the Brightest Glow stamp set. Um, this was an optional add-on. You could have um, added this onto your your uh, your kits, but uh, Brightest Glow has some very nice sentiments and fonts that also have the front and inside fonts that coordinate, okay? So this one I'm using right now is Season's Greetings. I'm gonna stamp this in real red. Make it pop right on that white cardstock. Love that. Season's Greetings. Oops. And 
then I'm going to take my paper snips and just do a little dovetail cut here on both ends like so and you don't have to cut it off in a dovetail if you don't want you could leave it flat or you could just do an angle on each end but I like to go for that dovetail cut I don't know there's something about it that just really looks cute all right so now I need my Stampin Dimensionals oops wrong sheet let's see there we go brand new one and I'm going to take three dimensionals for our sentiment and go right down the middle like so and this will get adhered right below our ribbon down here Alrighty, just like that all right now that I have that on there I'm going to go ahead and glue my bow on I'm just going to put this on with a mini glue dot so let's grab one of these and then put it right here on our ribbon wrap and you can trim them off if you'd like or leave them long whatever works for you now let's talk about the uh, Christmas trees for the Christmas trees you need a four inch circle so a four inch in diameter circle the die that I used for this is actually from the older layered circles dies. You can tell I don't even have them all in here because I've been using them. But the largest solid um, circle in this one is a four inch. This scalloped one is the next one up. So you'll just remember the second one in is the largest um, one for the trees. So you're going to take your four inch circle and you're going to fold it in half because one circle will give you two Christmas trees. So we only need a half of a circle. All right, so let's just snip that down like so. Then you'll take your circle and you're gonna have that flat edge there at the top. All right, you are going to take your pencil. Where's my pencil? There you go. Come here, little guy. <clears throat> Oops, not that one. Let's try another one. Take your pencil and you want to come across the top edge at one and a half inches so my little squares are quarters so one two three four five six so one and a half inches and I'm just going to put a little tick mark there then I'm going to fold my this top line over onto itself right where that tick mark is I'm going to fold it over flat Give it a little press but I want these two edges to be straight flush together there at the top okay so I'll take my bone folder and just give it a little press break down the fibers like so then I want to lay it back down flat and I'm going to take this edge that we just folded and this top flush edge and I want them to meet. So I'm going to use that same point that we used for the first fold again. I'm just going to fold them over like that. So it has that little cone triangle shape there. Give it a little press. So that's what I have so far. All right, so this is what you want because we're making our score lines for our final tree. So now when you open it up, you have uh, graduating sizes from smallest to largest. So I'm gonna flip it over so the largest size is on the left-hand side, like so, okay? So I'm gonna lay this down on my table and I'm gonna bring in my dimensionals. And I like my tree popped up, so I'm gonna do each layer with a dimensional. So I'm gonna put one there then I'm going to fold from right to left on that first score line, like so. Give it a little press. Another dimensional. Whoops, I pulled off two. This time we're going to fold from left to right after we take the paper off. And we'll fold that over. Now you can see where I'm going with this. And then we'll take our last dimensional for that last layer. We'll put one there. 
and we'll fold from right to left once again, like so. And there you have your tree. Isn't that cute? Love it. Alrighty. So then you should have either a solid red cardstock or um, some kits had the designer series paper red circle in it. This is gonna go right here above your bow and your ribbon wrap. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on there. Oops. And glue that down. Again, I'm gluing onto an embossed surface. So I wanna have a good, um, a good adhesion when that when that piece goes down. You want to make sure it's really adhered well. Give it a press like that. Then I'm going to take my tree and I'm going to put some strong adhesive. Now you could use your um, liquid glue, whatever you'd like. I'm going to use some Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm going to place this down here on my circle like that. And then I'm going to bring back my little hat full of doodads over here. And I'm going to grab one of the little stars. These are gold foil stars that are down in there. There's that one. And I'm going to put a little bit of liquid adhesive there because I like it better than on such a small little area when I do the mini glue dot on there. Um, sometimes the foil will crinkle. Uh, where the glue dot is pressing up from the back to the front. Come on. Play nicely, please. Well, come on. Okay. Let me loosen this guy up a little bit. Try, try again. There we go. So I'm going to put a little, little bit of liquid glue there. <clears throat> and then I'll bring in my gold star and I'm going to place that at the top of the tree and give it a little bit of a press. It's not going to go flush down to the card though because your tree has popped up. Remember that. So just get it on there and let it start to, uh, that glue to cure there real. It, it's pretty quick, but you want to let it go ahead and start to take hold before you move on. Now in your kit, you should have a full pack of the red and green adhesive back pearls. I love these. So on this, there are these light red ones. These are supposedly <laughs> mint macaron, or uh, I think they're mint macaron, but I think they can pass as pool party, whatever's next to them, they kind of go with the flow. So um, but on this one, I'm gonna use some of the gold uh, oh, falls down here and do some um, ornaments on my tree. So I'm gonna do a couple here, and then one on the next row, and then the next row, and then one at the bottom. So you can tell I really like these because I use a lot of them. <laughs> All right, there is our tree. Let's use one more just because it looks a little off kilter. There we go. All right, there's our tree. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do our trunk. All right, let's see. So I'll take my little piece for the trunk. I'm just gonna do a little, little rectangle there. And this, uh, it's gonna tuck right under the bottom of that tree. So let's see if I can pull this one up and make it fit. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna stick my little tree trunk under there. Not really gonna show that much, so. There we go. Give it a little press and voila, there you go. All right, so that's card number one. You can go ahead and stamp your greeting on the inside if you would like. For this one, I'm going to use uh, may the peace of the season light your world, and may your new year be the brightest. It's such a gorgeous one. So let's ink that up. Let me check it on my grid. Nice. Let's do it on our inside. All right. And 
then we'll just adhere that. So that is card number one. So you'll do four of these. And next, we are going to do card number two. There we go. All right. Ta-da! Card number one. All done. All right, let's go on to card number two. Alrighty, card number two is one of my favorites. I love a good Z fold card, and this is a Z fold card. So this is using that candy cane lane designer paper. Um, we're gonna cut out candy canes. So in your packet, you have uh, four different ones that you can cut out. Now this particular bundle does come with dies and it will cut candy canes, but for now you're gonna have to fussy cut the one that I gave you. So you're gonna have your card base, which is pre-scored at four and a quarter and at two and an eighth. So this will be the front of the card where we fold back on that other score line, okay? Just a, the front of our little, little Z fold right there. Now, you can choose to um, glue it down or you can leave it open like that. Either way, it works. You're gonna have a piece of basic white. This is gonna be the inside of our card again. Always have something lighter in there when it's a dark color. So that's gonna go on the inside like that. And then for this one, you want to make sure that you have a piece of, there's my little piece, I forgot to pull it out. You're gonna have a piece of designer series paper that is the green and white stripe. Let's see if I can get this one over here. The green and white stripe is just a piece that's going to go across the inside of your card there towards the bottom, maybe a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. All right, and then you'll have a piece of designer series paper. There were lots of patterns to choose from. So this is the Candy Cane Lane again. And you'll have a piece that will fit here on the front flap of your Z-fold, just like so. Then you'll have a stitched circle. You'll have two of these little um, twigs. This comes from the punch. It has the leaves and then it has one that has little teeny blooms on it, but we're just using the leaves. You'll need three um, half inch circles with the new red glimmer paper that comes in six by six with red and white, which is really beautiful. And then I tied your little gold bows for you that will go there on the front of your candy cane. Okay. Um, again, we're going to be using the same embellishments from your kit, so you'll keep those handy, and now we will get started. So let's go ahead and do our stamping first. So on the inside of my card, I am going to be stamping, wishing you a season of hope and light, and this is Real Red. Coordinates just perfectly. All right, and then on the circle for the front, over towards the right on this side, we're going to stamp all is merry and bright. So I'll do that, come over to the right, give it a little stamp, and that is that. <clears throat> All right, we'll set these aside for a sec and we'll go ahead and we'll adhere our designer series paper down to our front flap. So, there's so many patterns to choose from. I love them all. The Candy Cane Lane is actually the theme for my September retreat this year. So I am really, you can tell I really love it. I'm going to be doing a retreat with it because that's a lot of parts and pieces. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take that inside panel and that little strip of designer paper. And we're going to adhere this towards the bottom, like I said, about a quarter of an inch up across the bottom. Always use your grid paper, which is perfection. Oops, I forgot on the inside. I need to dovetail this little end. Sorry about that. There we go. So this will go right here. Like that. 
and then this piece will go on the inside of our card. Now, you're not going to want to miss, now that you've done the first Christmas card class with you, you're not going to want to miss the second one, the one that's next month. So you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for that one. So our little circle here, we're going to build up off of this, but I'm going to go ahead and adhere it first so I can get a good idea of where things are laying on the front of my card. So I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals behind the left side because that's the only part that's going to hit the card to be adhered. Put a couple of these over on the left. There we go. Like so. And then we will pop this right on here. Like that. Alrighty. So our candy cane is going to go down flat. Now you'll notice there are candy canes that go to the left and candy canes that go to the right. They're all on the same sheet. So you'll have probably two of two of each uh, facing candy canes, two right and two left. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm going to glue, actually, let me tilt it a little this way. I think I like it better like that. Yeah, like so. And then I'm going to take my little greenery and I'm going to cut these little bottom pieces off because I don't need them to be that long. And I'll put a little bit of liquid glue back here and glue these on, give it a little razzle dazzle. And on this one, I'm actually going to cut that bottom leaf off because I don't need as much bulk there. All right, so then we'll do this one about there. Okay, now once you have that done, all three of your berries will get a dimensional on the back of them. But before you put them on, you're gonna to wanna to put your bow on so you know where you will be placing the berries so they'll kind of tuck around the bow for this. So I'm gonna put my glue dot on my bow. I think I'll put it right there, like that. And then we'll bring in our dimensionals. And these fit perfectly on the little half inch circles. There we go. So I'm gonna do one right there. And another one right down here. Oh, look how that sparkle just makes it pop right off the page. Love it. And then one more. There we go. This one will go right over here. Like so. And there you have it. There's card number two. How cool is that? And you can always trim off your bows if you'd like. Oh, I forgot the bling. We can't forget the bling. But I'm gonna put, actually I'll put a couple of these little bluish ones, in my humble opinion, that's what they're called. They're blue. Stampin' Up! will just have to forgive me for that, but it looks blue to me. There we go. There we go, now that looks better. All right, so that's card number two. Ta-da! All done. All right, let's move on to card number three. You're doing great. Alrighty, we have card number three. You know, this one is really stunning and it's really simple, and I love that about that the, about this card. You'll have a basic white card base. Whoop! I stole another snowflake from the kit. Um, you'll have a basic white card base, which is very nice, and then you'll have a balmy blue um, frame. Now this one comes with our new snowman dies, and the frame is intricate and cuts like butter. I was very excited to see that. Let me pull out some of these little pieces here. 
Um, so you'll have this frame, one for each of your cards, and then you'll have two white snowflakes. You'll notice here on the front, you have a large and a small. And those are from the Chic dies. Uh, the Chic have the, oh, it has seashells, it has um, snowflakes. I can't remember what else is on there, but anyway, it's a great, a great die set. There we go. All right, so there's my frame. And then we're gonna use our pearls, and we're actually on this one, we're gonna use some Wink of Stella. And you can use Wink on any of them that you like, all or none, whatever works for you. But um, we're definitely gonna to wanna to use dimensionals on this. If you have the long adhesive strips, those will work fine on this also. Or if you'd like, you can just use regular dimensionals. But you wanna make sure that you have a good coverage on the edges because you want don't want it to sag in any of the spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off part of the edge piece, which is perfect for this project. And then I'll just put that down one edge. And you want to make sure it's laying pretty flat when you do it because it, it tends to buckle up if you're not careful. You want to make sure it's laying flat. All right, so then we'll get another piece of the edge over here. I love how this works for this project. There we go. Like that. And, oops, you see where I'm going with this. We'll do two more. Now, the one thing about the adhesive strips, for me, they tend to seem, it seems to make the piece a little taller, which is fine, but you just need to make sure you're, um, compensating for that. If you're adding other layers that are on dimensionals, you want them all to be the same height. Um, you want to make sure when you're using the strips that you take that into account. All right, oops. Play on over there. All right, and one more. So you can see how these fit nicely. Right in there. And we'll peel this off. Now, before I glue this down, I want to make sure that I know exactly where my Merry Christmas is going to fit in my frame. So I should have done that before I put my uh, my dimensionals on. But we're, let me grab another one here. What I did was I just took one of the blank frames, popped it here on the front. And this is nice because you can use it either way, up or down. doesn't matter. It can have the, the most snowflakes top right or top left and bottom right or opposite so that works really well i'm going to take my frame and set it down like so let's see let's do it like this because i think that's how my other one is just like this and i'm just going to kind of go in and mark that one i'm going to mark a couple little guidelines so i know where to stay inside with my Merry Christmas. Okay, so you can kind of see that little area right there. So this is a beautiful font. Look at the script with the print there. It's really pretty. And on this one, I'm gonna be using Smoky Slate. If you don't have Smoky Slate, you could always use, oops, Balmy Blue, which is what I'm supposed to be using. Smoky Slate's for the inside. <laughs> Balmy Blue will be the Merry Christmas. I'm sorry about that. So Balmy Blue. Or the outside. It either really works for this, so no worries. And then just kind of guide that in there. Like that. Alright, so let's erase those little marks. Just get them off of the underneath the frame area in case it doesn't sit right on top of it. There we go. Like so. All right. Then we will take our frame with the dimensionals on it. <clears throat> and this will get placed right over top like this. And if you can kind of guide the bottom edge you should be good to go when you lay it down. It should, get all the backings off? Yeah. 
you should um, get it on there rather straight if you can get those the bottom edge there all right and then we're going to take our two snowflakes so here is my large one i'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back and you don't need a ton on these because it's you're gluing the snowflake on snowflake and if you're not quite sure where it's going to hit you want to make sure you you don't go too strong with the glue on that one all right and then we need our little one cutie patootie and we're going to do the same thing but this one's going to come down here in the bottom right corner I'm just gonna do a little bit of glue there and glue that down like that. All right. Now, once you have that, I'm gonna let that dry. So while that's drying, I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the inside with some smoky slate. All right, what did I use on this one? I forget. Oh, this was made the season too. Let me clean my little stamp off real quick. So we're gonna stamp this one in Smoky Slate. Beautiful, beautiful fonts. Now, if you didn't get the brightest glow stamp set when you ordered uh, for this class, you can always order it and still take advantage of the celebration rewards and um, it's not too late because this is going to be a really popular set I think. All right let me make sure. There we go. Okay. Set that straight. My block straight. This one kind of messes with your head a little bit because my sticker's crooked but it's straight on the block so <laughs> that looks pretty good all right so there's the inside of my card now let's go back out here and I want my pearls and for this one you can do less is more or you can just keep adding to your heart's content um, you can use the little bluish green ones there or you can use these silver they all look good so I'm just going to add a couple to the insides of the snowflakes and then a couple on the inside frame around the Merry Christmas. There, there, ah, here, there we go, right there. And then we're going to bring in our Wink of Stella and this is a new one, so I have to be careful. Take our Wink of Stella and, and you'll notice mine has a lot down here in the well right now that's come down to the brush if it if yours hasn't and you need to prime it just shake it first and then give it a little bit of a squeeze off your nowhere near your project so that you'll get some down into the well and it'll start to bring it down into the brush sometimes it goes a little crazy so you got to be careful like that one did but you don't need it too too juicy you just want to make sure you have some on there and then you're going to take your brush with your lid and you're going to kind of angle the lid down just a touch and you'll take the tips of the brush and you're just going to flick across your project and this adds the snowy sparkle right across your card isn't that cute oh my goodness i love it sparkle sparkle or pixie dust as we call it here all right, so there is card number three. It's sparkly and beautiful. So really a good one to do if you're doing mass production. Um, really nice to do just those frames. You're ready to go and it is really beautiful. So, all right, card three, let's move on to card number four. We're almost done. Card number four, this probably, and eh, this might be my favorite, I'm not sure. <laughs> So this one has a balmy blue card base, and it also has some of this gorgeous white uh, designer paper with the silver foil 
um, looks like snow on there. Um, it has a sheet of foil with the silver snowballs and it also has uh, sheets with the silver, kind of a wavy pattern across it. And then they repeat it in, the, in gold. So you'll get both gold and silver in one pack. And that's actually a freebie um, on during celebration. So you're gonna wanna check that out. This little embossing folder is so stinking cute comes in a two pack but look at those little houses with the snow banks and the snowflakes in there so pretty and on this one we're also going to use some of our little foil snowflakes there love those so with your kit you should have four of these snowflakes you're going to use a half of a snowflake for each card okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine out so you can see how I used mine but I'm gonna cut down between just between the little bits there. So I get a half of one like that. Wait, we're using, are we using a half? No, we're using one whole snowflake for each. I'm sorry, you should have all four in your pack. Yeah, I'm sorry. There we go. I wondered why I didn't have enough, <laughs> I didn't have enough pieces. So you'll cut it in half and then you'll cut it in half again. So you'll have four. Alrighty. So you'll have your balmy blue base. You'll have two pieces of that designer series paper. These are gonna be the little border pieces. A little stitched uh, label here, really cute, already dovetailed too. You'll wanna get a piece out of your little kit with your ribbons and doodads in there. You'll have some of the silver twine. And then one piece of shimmery white cardstock. This is one of the cardstock that really had me at hello when I first saw it. This has been cut and embossed for you already. And then a piece for the inside of, this is just the basic white. Okie doke. So let me show you what I did first. I took my embossed shimmery white piece, and this is totally optional. You do not have to do this. So if, if you, you can skip this step if you'd like. But I took one of my blending brushes and some of the balmy blue ink and I wanted to just kind of have the embossed uh, images pop off the page. So I started off the page and I'm just gently going over my embossed image with just a little bit of blue and just adding a touch of color in there. All right, I'll oh, just really add a little, little sass to it. There we go. All right, now we're gonna put the front of our card together and we're gonna start with those two little pieces of designer series paper. So those will be adhered one to the top and one to the bottom. You're just gonna do them so they have that equal border around the three sides. And those will go on first before your embossed piece with the um, image on it. All right, and then we'll do the bottom one. Right about here, and this is just you do these first just to make sure you have those borders around it. It's much easier than putting your center one on first. All right, and this one's gonna get popped up with dimensionals. So we'll go ahead and grab some of these, put them on the back. One of my favorite tools in stamping, dimensionals. I mean, other than punches. <laughs> all right, there we go. So we have all of those around the edge. <clears throat> This will go here in the center, just like so. Make it so cute. All right. Then we are going to take our little sentiment strip and we're going to stamp Tis the Season and we're going to use Smoky Slate. This really coordinates well with the uh, snowballs on that designer paper. It just looks so pretty. Let's try it out. Yeah, looks good. Let's see if I can do this without getting my head in the way. Ooh, not bad. 
Let's try it on the back, just for kicks. Although I did like that. Nope. Front it is. <laughs> All right, so we will pop this up with a couple little dimensionals. Now, this is going to come down here towards the bottom edge, and it's just going to hang over this embossed piece just a touch, right about there. All right, and then you want to take two pieces of your snowflake. I can pick it up. There we go. And I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit on this bottom, the little V here at the bottom like that. And I'm gonna just tuck it back behind my sentiment like that, okay? And then we'll do the same thing to this one. A little bit over here. They just add that little sparkle. It's just so pretty. All right, now we have our two little pieces left. So we'll take this one and tuck it in up here at the top. Oh, I got my dimensional two codes. I'm gonna have to, let's see if I can switch it. There we go, like that. And then I'll put my last one over here. Add it in. Like that. Oh, so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna take my twine, my silver twine, which I accidentally tied in a knot. Didn't mean to do that. Um, just going to take it and you probably heard me say this before. This is kind of like that curly ribbon that was all the rage. Um, for wrapping Christmas presents, but if you take your twine and just run your fingernail down it lightly It'll start to take the curl out of it. So it, it gets a little bit straighter for you like that. Okay, that'll just give you a little more A um, little more control over which way the, the bow ends up going Tie a little bow And now for this one, I'm just gonna tuck the knot of the bow down behind the edge of the sentiment strip. Let's put this one with a glue dot. And I'm just gonna tuck that knot down behind there, like that. Okie doke, like that, and I'll trim it off. All right, then I'm just gonna put a couple little pearls on this one, not too many. <clears throat> but I thought I would highlight the little snowflake here and over here. And then I'm gonna put one more over here between these two little, two little houses. Right there. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit of shimmer with some Wink of Stella. Pretty pretty. And let's do our inside sentiment. The inside sentiment is going to be all is merry, all is bright. And we're gonna do this in smoky slate. See how it looks. Good deal. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, try it one more time. You never know. Ooh, or see, stick with your first one. 
this on the inside of our card. And we are done. All right. Not too bad. All right, so that is card number four. So we have all four done. So you should have four each of all of these, which gives you 16 Christmas cards to get your get your Christmas cards going. Isn't that cool? There's the first four designs of this season, and we will be doing more next month. Stay tuned for the information on that one. But I'm so grateful that you um, joined me for this one. And remember, if you would still like to get the Brightest Glow stamp set, if you didn't grab that, um, I can uh, hook you up with that one, or you can get it on my online store. And I hope to see you again really soon. Until I do, stay safe, stay well, and God bless.